Christopher McNabb had absolutely nothing to do with the disappearance and death of his daughter, Kalia. If you truly sit here today and you enter with the presumption that Christopher McNabb is innocent and you hold the state to its burden of proving him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, the just verdicts and the true verdicts are going to be not guilty in this case. As you listen to the evidence, I'm going to ask you to do what anybody else who is trying to solve a problem or make an important decision would do. You want to look for the who, what, when, where, how, why of this case. You want to know who killed Kalia McNabb. You want to know what happened. What happened that day? Uh, you want to know when did it happen? Where did it happen? You want to know how it happened. And you want to know why it happened. You're going to hear evidence today about physical altercations between Christopher McNabb and Courtney Bell. And you're going to hear evidence that they and their friends use drugs. I expect that the state is going to rely heavily on these two facts to try to convince you that Christopher McNabb killed his daughter on October 7th. But the real question is what happened between 9.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on October 7th, 2017. The evidence is going to show there were four people in the home that night. There was Christopher McNabb, there was Courtney Bell, there was Clarissa McNabb, the two-year-old daughter, and then there was Kalia McNabb, the 15-day-old daughter. Chris and Courtney put the girls to bed around midnight uh, for the last time. Uh, Kalia got up several times. She needed to be changed. She needed to be fed several times. But around 5.30, um, they put her, in uh, her back in bed and they lay down on the couch. About 9.30 that morning, Chris got a call from his, or a text from his dad letting him know that he had sent him some money. He said, are you awake? And Chris said, yes. Chris got up from the couch, walked into the other room, and found that Kalia and Clarissa were both fine. He laid back down, fell back asleep. Less than an hour later, Clarissa, the two-year-old, comes and wakes, his, wakes her parents up. And she says, sissy gone, sissy gone. So they didn't quite understand what she meant, so they got up and they checked. And sure enough, Kalia is gone. Without a trace, uh, she's gone. From that point, a huge search was conducted. And unfortunately, Kalia was found less than 900 yards away from the home uh, the next day. 